We all know fairy tale is shit, but if we ever want to explain why it is shit and what other writers should learn from so they won't repeat the same mistakes, this video is what they should be watching. Let's start with the easiest one. The power of friendship is something everybody knows that the show is abusing. But in what ways is it doing that? What's so bad with having friends that give you the motivation to never give up? The problem is they are not taking an active role in the show. Friendship only means you have friends, people who you can trust and who will help you out when you are in need. By actively doing something. You don't become stronger when you have friends. You deal with your problems easier because you have friends who are helping you out. If friendship is reduced to a thought that makes you stronger through willpower, then it becomes no more than a cheap excuse for a power-up. You can easily replace it with anything else you like, such as resolve or ambition or greed, and the result will be the same. Fairy tale didn't use friendship as what it really is. Everyone in the guild was a friend, but that didn't mean anything plot-wise. It was just an excuse to make everyone as strong as the plot wanted him to be. And when someone can become as strong as the plot wants him to be, then you get broken power scaling. It wouldn't be a problem if the show never mentioned how strong or important someone is, but exactly because it was constantly saying why this person is more dangerous and powerful than that other person, then there is a sense of scale which was constantly ruined through the power of friendship. It doesn't matter how strong someone is if friendship is enough to make you stronger than him. In a similar fashion, when friendship is the only thing that matters, then individual abilities are irrelevant. It wouldn't be a problem if everyone was using the exact same power. But exactly because every fighter has his own special attacks, which had a different effect and a different way of using them, they all become irrelevant if friendship is all that matters. In an almost identical fashion to that, there is no character depth. If all the characters are identical and wanted the exact same things, it wouldn't be a problem. But when most of them think differently and want different things, none of it matters when friendship is all it takes. It doesn't matter what they are learning through their experiences, it doesn't matter how mature they become, if all that matters is having friends that make you as strong as the plot wants you to be. In an almost identical fashion to that, there is no thematic depth. Every arc can be about a completely different thing, which can have a completely different approach. And it doesn't matter what you will do with it if all it takes is having friends that make you as strong as the plot wants you to be. In an almost identical fashion to that, there is no gravity to death. Because there is no death. There are constant death plugs that are proven to be fake. People constantly appear to be dead, only to magically resurrect or never being dead in the first place. Because the only thing that matters is friendship. Not even death can stop the miracle of friendship. Because of all the above, there is no payoff. Fairy Tale is constantly hyping the audience by making it seem like things are really serious this time. The bad guy is too powerful, everyone can die, there is actual drama this time around. And then they disappoint them every single time, because friendship is magic and as long as you have friends there is nothing you can't fix. And I know I am repeating the exact same thing all this time, but that is what is wrong with Fairy Tale. It is using the exact same formula every single time. You can overlook it if it does it once or twice, but doing it over and over and over again in the exact same way each time shows its inability to improve in the slightest. It didn't give a shit, it was laughing with its own nonsense, and then it was laughing with its own audience, who kept defending it by saying, it got better after 300 episodes, things are different this time, it finally got good, and it never did. People were defending it for several hundreds of episodes as something that was getting better and better, when it was always the exact same shit. And as if that wasn't enough of a problem, it was so shameless in its shallowness, it was relying on fan service to get away with it. Because let's not kid ourselves, the majority of people who were watching and defending this trash were doing it because they craved animated TNA and were excusing it as if it was a show for little kids that teaches them about the importance of having friends. Of course the many things don't make sense, it's a show for little kids. We are not watching soft porn, we are watching a motivational series. Look how friendly they are with each other. Don't you wish your life was like that? Full of friends who love you, and waifus, and boobies, and shameless exploitation of women? Fap 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 fap. And as if all that weren't enough problems already, Fairy Tale doesn't even know when to stop. The manga ended, everyone raged with how crap it was all along, and then a sequel manga comes out so it can keep proving how dragged out and milked to death it is. It was never about having an end point. It was never about telling a good story. It was always about animated DNA that was excusing all its bullshit by repeating friendship is magic in every single episode.